Hey ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here from Digital Dojos, and today Sonos had an event that launched a lot of great new things, but one awesome feature that I know so many of us in the Sonos family have been waiting for is Amazon Alexa uh, integration with Sonos players, meaning you can use your Amazon Alexa, Alexa Assistant, whether it's on the Echo, Echo Play Dot, to control music playback on your Sonos Here's players. Here's for jazz music. Uh, just really, jazz really been long Amazon awaited. Music. It's still in beta, so as of this release, it's still in beta, so it's not perfect. It doesn't support things like Spotify as of right now. However, uh, it is capable, and you can go ahead and set this up. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at just how to go about doing that. All right, so if you wanna connect your Sonos to your Amazon Alexa Assistant here, the way you're gonna go about it is first and foremost, make sure that your both apps are up to date, the Alexa app as well as the Sonos app. After that, head into your Amazon Alexa app and you're gonna to wanna to enable the Sonos skill. Do this by going in the top left, clicking skills, and going ahead and searching for Sonos here. Now, since it's brand new, it's all the way at the very bottom here. So go ahead and click on that and then enable the skill. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna ask you to one, sign into your Sonos account that you use to register your Sonos devices. So if you're setting up your Sonos while doing that, I highly recommend doing that first. After which, it's gonna ask you to sign into your Amazon account. Go ahead and do that. It's gonna then search for these Sonos devices on your network, and that should take a couple seconds depending on how much you have. You can see here it detected my Sonos player in the bedroom and my Sonos player in the family room. Now these are based off of the names that you assign in the Sonos app. So I have like the play ones uh, linked with my Sonos soundbar, and that's all designated as bedroom. So when I want to play in the bedroom, I would say, you know, Alexa, play jazz or play Kanye West in bedroom. Um, and it's, and there, there you go. Um, but uh, after you do that, there's one last thing you need to do. Go into your settings here and go down to music and media. And then you're gonna wanna sync your music streaming services, whatever you may use. Keeping in mind as of the beta, so as of right now, Spotify is not supported via Amazon Alexa playback. So I'm sure that will be in the future over Sonos but you have to use any other of these services, whether it's Pandora, TuneIn, or Amazon Music, or iHeartRadio. After you sign up to those music services and uh, you know put in your account, you can now control playback on your Sonos players via Amazon Alexa. And I'm also gonna leave this link down below from Sonos's website, which give you all the basic commands to controlling playback on your Sonos players via Alexa. So you can see Alyssa commands here, general volume commands, general playback commands as well as service commands based on you know specific ones. So if you're using Amazon Music, if you're using Pandora, here's how you can go ahead and control playback via Alexa. So it's that easy and simple to get started. Hope you enjoy your listening experience. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe for more content here on YouTube. And last but not least, check out all the much more content we have to offer over at digitaldojos.com. Thanks for watching.